Hey y'all, it's your girl Maria, and we're back with more reactions. I've got another Stan Walker song today. I like Stan. He has such a smooth voice. His voice is like suck like butter. I'm just saying, amazing. Um, but he has a song, Tennessee Whiskey. I love this song. Um, one of the first songs that I reacted to was Chris Stapleton's um, version of this song. And I was like, wow. And I don't think I've heard any other rendition since then that is as good as his but i have a feeling stan walker if anyone could make it sound as good if not better i think stan walker's the guy to do it so i'm looking forward to this and um parson james i guess is singing with him or collaborating with him i don't know it just says stan walker parson james tennessee whiskey so you already know you if you want to show love and support to the artist and or myself i link ways for you to do that in the description box below make sure you check it out um but yeah let's get started Spend my nights out in the back of a bar room. And liquor was the only thing I'd known. But you rescued me from reaching the bottom. me back from being alone not bad you're as smooth hello harmony a sexy whiskey Okay, so I'm taking it that's Parson James who's singing. He has a good voice. And he sings very well this song. For me, it comes in a little short. And I'm presuming Stan Walker is going to sing this next verse, which I would love to hear. Um, but Parson James has a great voice. It's just... It's hard to sing this song and to match the emotion from how Chris Stapleton sung it. And that's my favorite rendition of this song so far to date. So ready to hear how, how I'm hoping Stan's going to take the next verse. I really am. I'm ready to, ready to hear him because those harmonies were just in sync. Like there was no flaw in those harmonies that I could hear. a glass 
So bring I love Stan Walker's voice. He has an amazing voice. His harmonies are on point. This is not my favorite rendition of this song. Um, I, I still go with Chris Stapleton's version as the, the, my favorite version of the song, only because there's so much emotion and so much um, rawness to the way he sings it versus how it's being sung here. Um, and I don't take anything away from Stan Walker. He's doing a phenomenal job with it. Um, but there, I don't know if it's Parson James that's like putting me off to the song or not. I, but something is missing here for me. There's a Tennessee whiskey is all about telling someone how important they are to you because of what they helped you come through, and there has to be some sort of like emotion that's very raw that goes into that and you know I, I'm just I don't know if I'm I'm not hearing it and it's not that they're singing it badly they're singing beautifully but I'm just not hearing that emotion that I you know would expect to hear on this song and, and it's a shame because Stan Walker is truly a talent I love his voice it's so much silk and I think if he would take this song and sing it on his own I think he would blow the roof off of any building. I really do think that. I don't know if this was the best pairing. Maybe it's the pairing that's putting me off. I don't know. Something's missing here for me. You're as cold as a glass of brandy. See what I mean? Oh, your love. Oh, the time. I mean, well sung. It's not, it doesn't sound bad. It's just. It's missing something for me. And at the very end there, Stan's doing those runs and everything. Like, I know if he sung this song by himself with the original verse, um, verses of the song, I know he would convey the emotion that needs to happen on this song because his voice can do it. Like, if there was anybody who I think could take on this song, it's Stan Walker. I feel like he was the backup singer on this one. And really, he's not meant to be the backup singer. Singer, he's made, made made to be the main attraction. You know what I mean? Does that make sense to everyone who's listening? Because you know, I don't want everybody like hating on me for my opinion here, but not my favorite version of the song because Stan Walker should have been front and center on this. He has the voice for this to blow any roof off of any building at any time of day, whenever he felt like it, and twice on Sunday. You know what I mean? Just, it's just my opinion, guys. Sorry, not sorry, um, if it's an unpopular opinion. It's not, this isn't a dig at Stan Walker. He has a great voice. There's just something that's missing here. Anyway, um, if you want to show support and to uh, love and support to the artist, I link ways for you to do that in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. And um, yeah, that's going to do it. So live your lives fabulously, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.